about a Databricks again. Uh, you have a very unique position there, striped across several different agencies. Give us an example of a program that you'd like to highlight. Yeah, sure. Uh, so in the public sector, uh, we have a number of uh, publicly re referenceable uh, customers, um, mm -hmm. such as the DOD, which are rolling out lake houses. Uh, more on the uh, business uh, side of things, so for business use cases. So uh, in the DOD, the uh, Office of the Chief Digital and AI Office, uh, what they're doing is they're centralizing and acquiring data from hundreds of different enterprise uh, data sources uh, to decrease the uh, time to insight for their data scientists and data analysts. On the uh, cybersecurity side, uh, we're more in the uh, piloting of the cybersecurity lighthouse initiatives with a number of agencies in the public sector. Uh, essentially, our existing customers using Databricks for business use cases are now looking into leveraging us for cybersecurity as well. Uh, and there's been um, uh, interest in uh, leveraging our platform to handle the logging side of the zero uh, trust uh, architecture, uh, particularly due to the beefed up logging requirements of last year's OMB uh, M21-31. Uh, and uh, because uh, that mandate was unfunded, many organizations were left scrambling uh, to figure out how to you know, be able to store and analyze their uh, larger data sets, uh, given the high cost of these uh, legacy SIMs. So our uh, price performance makes us particularly uh, appealing there for customers that are already using us for uh, business data. Uh, we use uh, uh, low-cost cloud object storage uh, to store all our data within our, our, our platform. So like Amazon S3 or Azure ADLS. And we don't license uh, to uh, store your data. Uh, you just pay the underlying cl cloud provider. Uh, we license just based on processing and compute. And... Uh, so it's a very cost-effective model for cybersecurity logs. Um, and our uh, data format is also open source. So that's also very appealing to, uh, to our customers. And then uh, on the commercial side, uh, we're seeing uh, great adoption uh, for cybersecurity lighthouses among enterprises. Uh, and uh, one of our customers there is a cybersecurity um, or a large financial services company that uh, uh, talked about their cybersecurity use case last month at Data and AI Summit. And they're ingesting a tremendous amount of data, uh, 100 to 200 petabytes of uh, or terabytes of data uh, per day. Uh, and they're storing that data for up to a year so they they can go back and look at, you know, their logs up to a year. And uh, they have, you know, 40 to 50 terabytes searchable. So pretty uh, impressive scale that only a few technology companies were operating at uh, only a few years ago.